Good evening folks, this is Desert Survivalist. Um just doing another video here. Haven't posted anything for a while. Um been a little busy with everything to uh, update the channel and whatever, but we're back and uh, hopefully gonna be doing some a lot of updates from now on. Um also about my blog, I'm back writing for that too, so got a new post up today about uh, survival habits or rather how your habits will fare in a survival situation so be sure to check that out hopefully in the next few weeks we're going to be starting a series on first aid so be sure to stay tuned for a lot of new stuff and I'll have some companion videos up to go along with uh, those posts too uh, today a lot has actually changed since I last posted a video of my bug out bag so today we're going to do a uh, video of that my updated bag as you see here, this is my uh, new uh, snazzy pack. No more of the Alice pack. I've decided to go with a uh, more modern ACU uh, pack here. I think this one was made by either Voodoo Tactical or Condor. Uh, cost me about 80 bucks at the surplus store. Doesn't have a frame, just has the uh, straps on the back there. This is soft, but there's kind of a plastic plate back there uh, that keeps it pressed against your back, so it's not too bad to carry, but I might be uh, actually finding a, a lighter bag to carry this in, and I'll explain exactly why that is in the uh, remainder of the video. Um, as for the contents of my bag, I've also revamped those. Um, kind of in keeping with my philosophies over the I've been thinking about over the past couple months. Um, my preferred plan in a survival situation, if you will, would be to probably stay here in town. I'm not one of the very big uh, people about leaving and you know going bugging out in the woods or whatever, but as much as I like to stay, there will be times, say in the event of a nuclear emergency or um, possibly if you've become too high profile of a target, so to say, for the local authorities, or if your town gets flooded or whatnot, or threatened by wildfire, you may want to or be ordered to leave, so it's a good idea even if you are of the mind to stay bedded in your house to have a bug out bag and that's kind of what mine is. Mine's not necessarily to carry everything on my back. Mine is just, if I have to get out, I'll have enough to survive. So the contents aren't very uh, extensive. As for food, I've got uh, like two main MREs, probably about the equivalent of three MREs here. I got some uh, components and my two, two meals, so that's about maybe a day's worth of food there. Um, got some clothing, got my gloves, uh, about three pairs of, or two changes of clothes, and uh, some other components like uh, socks, underwear, and so forth for clothes, so about two and a half days of clothes. As I say, this isn't really a 72-hour pack, so got, uh, I do have some stuff in case I need to go to a remote area that uh, will make life a little easier. I've got a big, uh, general purpose tarp here. Um, for first aid I have beefed that up quite a bit. I have my uh, personally built first aid kit here. That's not originally what came in it. And then uh, add some other bandages, uh, aloe vera and ace bandage and so forth to that stock. I got basic uh, dental hygiene there. I gotta add some floss actually. Uh, tissue soap, survival blanket in case you are out in the woods. I've got my means to cook food, stove fuel, uh, some extra batteries for my light, matches, more matches, and I've got my whole fire starting kit here. I've got a lighter, the uh, strike anywhere matches, and the standard uh, magnesium fire striker. I've also got this 36 hour uh, candle, which I'm thinking of actually 
deleting simply because of its size and getting a couple of little tea candles and just putting them in there. But uh, we'll see. I've also got a uh, pretty important thing wherever you're headed out to, even if you're going to an urban area, these water purification tablets. Um, beware if you buy these. They don't treat crypto. They, it says they treat uh, Giardia, but they do not work on crypto, so this is these are mainly if you just got some murky water and want to get the dirt to kind of settle out of it and clean it up a little bit. It won't take out all the viruses like uh, some of the other stuff will. Got the all-important toilet paper. Got to find a way to shrink that uh, roll down, make it a little more compact. Get some hand warmers in case you uh, go to a cold place. Got out in the woods. Paracord. Got my trusty saw. And poncho. Knife. Some uh, smaller twine. It's for other general uses. Pens. My uh, so-called survival whistle with compass and thermometer. And uh, it's got a mirror in there too. Just a nice little handy tool to have. And then marking tape in case you're out in the woods and get lost. Um, there may be some things you notice are not in here, such as my multi-tool, um, any means of water or ammunition transport, uh, kind of a lack of uh, food, substantial food. My intention in bugging out is probably to take all three of my main systems, this bug out bag, my tack vest, and my EDC with me. So a lot of the other stuff, my my purifier flashlight for instance, uh, ammo, water, that sort of stuff, is all going to be in my tack vest. And uh, multi-tool is actually in EDC now. So intending on taking all three of those systems with me wherever I would go. So that's why the bug out bag isn't doesn't include a lot of that stuff. Like I said, not too uh, extensive, but still enough to get you by for a couple days until you can either uh, come back to your ultimate stash, which hopefully will have survived, or if you uh, were able to take it with you, then this will just provide for the first couple days until you have to break into the rest of your supplies. And uh, that's about it for this episode, if you will. Uh, I'll be posting, I've got an updated uh, tack vest system now, and uh, done some other updates, so uh, I'll be posting another video on uh, that and uh, other topics I'm covering on my blog. Don't forget to check out my blog, www.desertsurvivalist.wordpress.com. Uh, rate, comment, and like. And uh, the address linked to my blog is in the uh, comment section below. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.